Hey there, how are you? I hope you're doing amazing. I know that I am. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to thank you so much for praying for me, for your support, for your messages, for your comments, for your DMs, for your texts, for everything. Um, last weekend, as you may know, I headed to the TEDx um, stage for the second time. And I had to drive like three and a half hours. And it was just crazy because I was teaching the night before. Then very early in the morning, I was was doing a I was hosting a women's panel like really early in Boston then I had to drive three and a half hours um, to the Berkshires which is beautiful and then um, do the dry run and then the event the following day and um, it was a struggle and a half okay it was not easy at all but I'm glad that I did it it was amazing um, a lot of people uh, felt inspired and really told me how much they appreciated my stories and my words. It was just awesome. So I just wanted to thank you for that and encourage you to uh, face your fears, to do something that makes your hair straight. It's so You're so scared. Um, something that pushes you outside of your comfort zone. That is what I'm doing this entire year. And I got to tell you, it's amazing. It feels, it feels like kind of crazy when you're going through it, but after you do it, you feel so, so proud of yourself. So like, yes, I did this thing. And, um, me getting back on the TEDx stage definitely has done that. I will share some pictures with you um, of the event. Um, the topic, uh, that's probably the number one question that I get. They tell you they tell you what to speak about, and then you can choose any angle that you want to. So the, the topic was community building, and I chose to talk about how to build community through conflict. And that is funny because I did not like conflicts for the longest time and that got me in a lot of trouble if believe it or not because i did not know how to do conflict very well or at all for that matter so i had to learn and the way that i learned allowed me to uh, have better relationships um to be better at listening like i learned 10 so 10 or 7 7 amazing things that really helped me to be better at conflict and therefore building community and that's going to be released in a few months um ted, ted takes a long time to review the videos to approve it and then to release it to the organization that put up the uh, tedx event and then they upload it to youtube i don't know if you knew that but that is the process um it's very very um, rigorous, like they're, they're very specific about what they do. So that's what's been going on. There is a new training coming up. I'm so excited. And, um, I really want to talk about how many people, um, are struggling with what you're struggling. That's what we're talking about on the podcast. So if you're not subscribed to the teacher easy podcast with Catherine Storing, you want to subscribe because I'm going to be talking about that the entire month. If you struggle with something and you don't struggle with that anymore, you learn some things. And more than likely, since you're human, I think, um, other human beings are also struggling with that thing. And what you learn, they need. But you might not know how to share that without bleh, like giving them everything you know about that thing in a very disorganized way. How do I know? I used to do that. I used to struggle with, um, like I talked about this weekend, with um, conflict and how to do it right because I did not learn how to model it well. And, um, or oh, it was not modeled well to me, so I did not know how to do it. And um, I had to learn an organized way on how to do conflict better and ask for what I needed and ask for apologies and all of that stuff. So this week, uh, all this week, we're going to be, and the rest of the month, we're going to talk about what people struggle with and how you better... You can help them to better um, not struggle with that, if that makes sense. And my brain is a little scattered today. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I'm excited for you. I'm going to give you the link as well to register for the new training. It's happening this Saturday. Do not miss it. It's going to happen at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be amazing. You, do not you don't want to miss it. It's also free, like the other four. So this is number five. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. Again, thank you so much for your support. As soon as I get the link from TEDx, I will link it, let you know. I'll share some pictures with you so you you can see the journey um, because I value you, because I appreciate you, because I know that me doing uh, this thing that I'm called to do hopefully inspires you to do the very thing you have been called to do. How does that sound? Awesome. Thank you so much for being amazing. Remember that I love you, that I'm rooting for you, and I will see you super duper soon.